Well, the Water Authority Board met today to discuss new regulations to help with our water shortage. Sally Jaramillo is live near Silverado Ranch in Decatur to tell us what changes are in store for the future. Sally. According to the Southern Nevada, uh, Southern Nevada Water Authority, turf uses the most amount of water. So as new developments are being built in the Las Vegas Valley, you won't see a lot of green unless it's artificial. There are some exceptions, though, schools, parks and cemeteries. This year, there were some more significant changes than usual, in particular, the Colorado River being in drought. Colby Pellegrino is the deputy manager of resources for the Southern Nevada Water Authority. She says due to the first declared shortage, as well as big shift in the population projections for our community, there is a need for a new water conservation goal. So our current water conservation goal is 105 gallons per capita per day. So um, if we take all the water use in the valley, divide it by the number of people that live here, that's how we come up with gallons per capita per day. We're proposing lowering that from 105 gallons per capita per day to 86. On Monday, the Southern Nevada Water Board adopted two resolutions in support of that new goal. The first being a limitation on turf, the second restrictions on the installation of evaporative cooling also known as swamp coolers. And we've also adopted AB 356, which requires non-functional turf outside of the single family sector to be removed by 2027. But there's still work to be done. The Colorado River supplies 90% of the water to this community. So it's vitally important that we um, do the right thing and manage our water resources responsibly. We live in a desert, we should act like it. Back out live, another recommendation on water conservation. You want to change that irrigation timer when recommended throughout the, throughout the year. For now, reporting live in the southwest part of the valley, Sally Jaramillo, live local now.